Hi, uh, we have created uh, two experiments using LCD. First one is displaying a mes message on LCD. Next, we have uh, provided binary inputs through switches and uh, displayed on LCD. Next part is that we are going to update that multiplier output on LCD. So, uh, this is uh, similar to the previous experiment that binary input displaying on LCD. Only part is that instead of that P input, A input, P input, here we are going to display that multiplier output P on LCD. So let's quickly create the project. So name it as multiplier to LCD. Button 7 finish. Okay, uh, we have to add the uh, existing files. So I, I copied that existing files to that project directory. We simply add those files. So uh, these are all the files required. I simply so binary to LCD is the actually it is the top module which is which we can uh, either remove and create new or uh, we can rename. So what I do is I simply remove that uh, top module. And uh, create a new module with the name. So multiplier LCD finish. In this module we have uh, inputs of uh, clock then x will be of an, uh, uh, 3 down to 0 then we have a y 3 down to 0 then we don't have a p because uh, p should be an output of multiplier uh, that will be dis displayed to LCD so it won't be available on any input or output Next we have a LCD RS Then we have a LCD Enable Then we have a data And 7 down to 0 Okay. So our project consists of uh, three modules we are going to port map. The first module will be multiplier then binary to PCD converter. Then we have that uh, LCD We rename them to component So here the name was not replaced. Okay, component in component. Okay. So we have uh, all of them uh, uh, added as a component. 
next we have a signal signal consists of that bcd underscore x bcd underscore y so these are all the signals that come on that uh, binary to lcd code itself so these are all the these three signals which is of uh, standard logic vector 11 down to 0 then we have another signal that is multiplier output p that is uh, taken from multiplier block and that should be given to lcd block as well as binary to bcd block so that we have to declare it as a signal so i rename it as a prod that was std underscore logic underscore vector of uh, it is uh, 8 bit so 7 down to 0 0 yes so these are all the two signals then we declare that multiplier port map so i just name it as multiplier 1 with uh, the component name multiplier 4 plus 4 port map then we provide that uh, each pin with that uh, corresponding thing clock with clock and uh, x so x got x name only then y also so sorry there is no multi clock in the multiplier only x y and p because this multiplier block is uh, uh, simply a combinational circuit there is no clock involved why then we have that uh, p will be assigned to that prod signal that's it so this is the multiplier block then so there is some error there's a spelling mistake multiplier okay then we have that uh, binary to bcd that binary to bcd i will simply copy that existing code and paste it over here that we have already created that binary to lcd part i simply copy that binary and lcd port map part because they simply repeats you can see that that uh, first binary will get that binary to bcd will get that x input 4 bit and uh, con convert it to binary to bcd the same way second port map take the y input and convert third one take that uh, here it is not p prod because that uh, output was assigned as a prod so product input will go to binary and convert it to that pcd finally this uh, output will be given to that bcdx to bcdx y to y and p to p so everything gets port map the only difference between that uh, previous binary to lcd and this multiplier to lcd is we have a new module of that multiplier 4 plus 4 adder on this so there that product was given as an input in switches here it was intermediate signal which come out of multiplier that is the difference let's save this one so we have that uh, multiplier lcd now set as a top module which consists of that uh, multiplier binary bcd and lcd so in multiplier you have the those models like 4 bit adder full adder half adder everything will be inside that okay so next thing we have to do is we have to create a constraint multiplier to lcd 
yes. So I simply copy that existing constraint files of uh, binary to LCD and uh, just remove that product terms. That is the only difference. So this existing one consists of everything like clock, X and Y inputs for slide switches, P input is there. There, there is no P input on this one. P is a simply a multiplier output, so we remove this and we have a LCD signals as well. Okay, save. Generate bitstream. Okay. Let's analyze that RTL schematics. So we have that uh, binary multiplier, binary to BCD module and then LCD. So X and Y are directly pass it to multiplier block as well as binary to BCD block. But uh, the binary to BCD block output will be passed to the third binary to BCD block. So all the outputs are passed to LCD and displayed on LCD. Okay, uh, so program generated. Let's uh, turn on the kit and open the hardware manager. Auto detect. and then program so we can see that here I make all the switches 0 so it will be that for x and for y everything is 0 output is 0 if I make that 1 and y is a 1 then you can see that output is 1 if I make it as 1 1 then it is uh, 3 3 into 1 3 that is displaying then 7 if I make it 15 15 into 1 15 so 15 into 3 will give give us 45 same way 15 into 7 will give us 105 15 into 15 225 is displaying so uh, with this experiment we are able to uh, visually see both X input, Y input and P output on output display. So which was not the case in case of 7 segment there we can only visualize that uh, output uh, values. Thank you.